Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another look at a antivirus, anti-malware software as of February 2016. A lot of the software that I am reviewing are actually um, antivirus software that some of you have asked me to review. So this one is another one that you, um, you viewers have asked me to review. The Commodo Internet Security 2016. Now this is the big package. It's free but it has flaws and there are things that I don't like and uh, we'll start with first of all um, junkware now this piece of software has a lot of stuff that I don't like that pops up with it so for example uh, you will have uh, the geek buddy like this that's there and I don't want it it's a personal assistant that wants to solve your problems and there's always this, you know, um, number that they give out for the, uh, you know, the protections that you can have. And I don't want to have, and, you know, you got the activate now and you can start a chat and there's, uh, you know, if I want to have something, okay, uh, I just want to have an antivirus and I don't want anything else. So um, that's the first thing that I have to say, okay? I don't want to have all sorts of extras like this. Another thing that it will install when you install uh, the Commodo in, you know, Internet Security is the Chromodo Internet Browser, and it wants you to, you know, by default, have it by default. So all the check marks, all the things are there. And, uh, you know, I really don't like uh, that type of, you know, kind of pushing software on you. Uh, when I want an antivirus and anti-malware, I want an antivirus and I tell my, well, I don't want to have, a, a, you know, 75 extras with it. I just want to have what I want. So for that, um, I don't really like the way that they bring the, you know, all of that information. Now, on uh, the iCar detection, it detected and removed the file that I tried to create infected with a virus. I downloaded a virus with a zip file. Now, another thing that I don't like is when you download it and you have something, it doesn't say there's malware or anything. It said, oh, uh, I think this is bad, but uh, I'm not sure. What do you want to do? Well, that's another problem. You don't ask people what you want to do because people don't know what to do when they are asked questions by antivirus so that's another bad thing that I don't like about this and so it detected the virus or that probably there's something in there but it didn't remove it it was still on my desktop the zip file with the virus inside stayed there so okay I'm not really don't like that malware I downloaded software with malware inside uh, it told me, well, okay, I don't know this file, and I would like to maybe have another look at it. What do you want to do? You want to block it? You want to save it? You want? Then again, why do you ask stuff like that? All the other antivirus immediately told me, oh, there's malware in this. Commodore didn't. It just said, well, I think I need to scan this a little more. That's not what I wanted to hear. I didn't like that. Processor is less than 3% use. Uh, the footprint in memory, only 35 megabytes. That's not too bad. Another one here that's kind of weird with a scan of 2.3 gigabyte file test at 11 seconds. Uh, you know, that's kind of weird. I, I, I wonder what, what it does for 11 seconds, actually. Maybe it already did scan, so it, that's why it... It did that, but uh, that's kind of weird. Um, you know, I don't necessarily find that it's super cool to have a, a scan that's so fast. So, you know, uh, I have the impression that those that scan for you know two, three minutes might be doing a better job. I don't know, but it's difficult to know. Uh, maybe, you know, it's already been scanned for uh, by the uh, software, and that would be an idea why it would scan only 11 seconds, because it says, well, there's nothing, you know, new here. Startup impact is really very low. Doesn't really show much when you start up, and it doesn't really uh, 
have much of uh, an imprint on the startup speed or even when you use your computer and go on the web and do stuff it doesn't really show much that it's there so that is a good side of the Komodo internet security it does have a firewall in it so you have network intrusions blocked intrusions this is a firewall you have the threats detected the ones that I of course sent to it to see what was uh, happening how it would uh, react to the viruses that I sent it um, it has the possibility to run software so for example the cam studio which is a okay software but it has malware or undesirable stuff bundled with it it asked me oh do you want to open this in a sandbox or in a virtual box so that it doesn't have to uh, it can infect your machine if there's something wrong that was an interesting idea but yet you're asking stuff to people that aren't really sure what they're doing so it shouldn't be like that I think that's bad design basically um, firewall is there easy to install and no because it has too many questions and too many little check marks that you have to check do I want this or that or that I don't want that and uh, once again I don't like that don't put a piece of software that has 50 different little check marks that you have to install or not stuff um, you shouldn't be like that and you shouldn't force browsers you know I had to remove the check marks for no I don't want to have Chrome Auto as a default browser no I don't want to have I don't know how many things that I removed the check mark because I didn't want to have that so you know uh, that's uh, kind of a little um, sad here and uh, on some malware that I downloaded I had to actually click the file before it told me there was maybe something and it wasn't sure because you had to well maybe I should run this in sandboxes bad I don't like that so for all the annoying stuff including the geek buddy that I was just one hell of annoying thing and the fact that it's always saying hey you know what you could have some free help call this number one eight 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 yeah but what does it um, include and what does it you know what afterwards uh, it's free for now but what's gonna happen if you call that same number you're trying to push people to a text service by phone I don't find that super cool um, either so um, you know what I'm giving Commodore internet security premium a score of 5 out of 10 uh, I don't like it and I don't think anyone should use this um, and it has a lot of flaws in the detection itself especially of the malware stuff so um, if you have that I think you're much better served by something else like uh, AVG f you know AVG or Avira free which does a better job even though it does have a little bit of annoying stuff it's not as bad or you know why not get the uh, MSYSOFT anti-malware or even that uh, Chinese 360 total security which is pretty amazing I gotta say so um, you know at least those are free but are much better at uh, stuff and less annoying with all the extras that it's trying to bring on. So that's my look and review of the Commodore Internet Security Premium for 2016 February. If you enjoyed my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And maybe you have something that you want me to look at, maybe an antivirus that I didn't test yet. Of course, let me know and uh, we'll be of course checking it out and thank you for following us on the channel it's always a pleasure to have your feedback